Hey y'all, Kevin Hutchison here with Realty Austin, and I am grateful to be a part of Stories Inside the Man Cave, a homegrown podcast just like my own business. Taking, uh, what is this? Not football season yet, but hey, this is a year round deal. College football is and the headlines. And when you have a friend like Jeff Trailer, who is his roots are to high school football in Texas, and that's kind of a tease of what we're going to talk about in here shortly. Short episode, Coach Trailer and Harbaugh Harge, a reunion for all three of us. Man, we I appreciate both of you guys. Appreciate you having me on. Glad to be back, Sean. Glad to be back, baby. Back in the man cave. And real quick, just got to give a quick shout out to Jim Saxton, State Farm Insurance. Uh, just a quick testimonial. I bought a truck about a new one about eight weeks ago. Called them, uh, Jimmy, and he told me to call one of his associates at his office. And within 30 minutes, they had me fully covered on the new vehicle within a half hour. That's the kind of service that you can have a Westlake OG, a Longhorn legacy, if you will. His dad was a Heisman finalist back in the day. And so call Jim Saxton for all of your insurance needs. And well, Jeff Trailer, he's an alumni of the Man K, VIP alumni, that is. And about to enter his third season as the head football coach at UT San Antonio. Coach Trailer, a 12 win season. And now you're getting the, the part of your career where your recruiting is taking effect. I mean, what, how has it changed since we talked before last season to now to where things are changing and moving quickly in San Antonio? Well, it's not just in San Antonio. It's the whole world of college football. Right. I mean, with the transfer portal and now NIL as well. Um, you know, it's been, you know, the first year you had COVID. And yeah. You dealt with George Floyd, and now you got NIL, and you got, you got rigged elections supposedly, and you got you know transfer portal. It's it's been a it's been a whirlwind, uh, obviously. And I do think being a Texas high school football coach for 15 years and getting yeah. to practice being a head coach is a tremendous advantage uh, for me, uh, just because in high school things are changing rapidly just because yeah. you're dealing with such immaturity and youth and uh then getting to go be an assistant for five years at three different schools for two different men was invaluable for me as well so yeah you're right things are rapidly changing we're now going to the aac uh you know we won 12 games last year which has only been done like 10 times in the yeah. whole history of the state of texas so um Things have changed rapidly. You're exactly right. <laughs> so, Coach, I wanted to kind of piggyback on that because you brought up the transfer portal and everything that's going on with it. And I've talked to numerous coaches about this, but none of them have your background as far as being a high school uh, coaching legend in the state of Texas. So one of the big questions that I've always had during this time is, number one, you have to be able to keep those connections with the high school coaches association. Obviously, you're a big part of that. But you also have to look at it as, am I recruiting this high school kid or do I need to win now that I need to go get a kid that has been part of another program but maybe didn't find the right mix over there? I know this kid is talented, but I still got to build my nucleus from those high school kids. And I know your big story is the tri triangle, uh, 210 triangle right there. And I want to make sure that everybody's being a part of that, but in that making the job a little bit harder as well. Well, it's one of the things I really learned from, you know, Charlie, you know, Charlie really thought he had five years in Texas. So he built from the ground up, you know, yeah. he tried to redo the locker room as far as, you know, freshmen and build up. Right. Well, he never even got to see his, you know, really his freshman class played to their junior year. Uh, Cause your first year in, you're basically taking over the guy before you's class. Uh, so you're, that's really not even your class, to be honest with you. It is. I don't want to make light of that, but the other guys did all the work. They put in the, the time to recruit that class. So I, I made my mind up. If I ever got my chance to be a head coach, they're, they're not given. You know, Chad had two years and Charlie got three. So the five-year plans are out the window. So 
I, I had already came in telling all my Texas high school buddies, just the game has changed. I cannot do high school only. I'm going to do a blended roster from the jump street. From the very beginning, my, our goal was to get, you know, anywhere from 12 to 15 high school kids, uh, four to five junior college kids, and three to five transfers. That was our model from the very beginning. Because if I didn't win immediately, y'all wouldn't have me on this show right now. I'd be on that hot seat show. I wouldn't be, you know, y'all would be talking about me in a whole different way. Because you got to win early now. So, yes, it has expediated it. But luckily, I kind of saw what happened to Charlie and Chad. You're not, you're not guaranteed five anymore. You, you better get some fans excited pretty quick or they're going to bring somebody else in. One thing that obviously Coach Trailer, our connections, obviously Stephen F. Austin. And then uh, for those who are not aware, I mean, his story is well documented, um, deeply rooted to the Texas High School Coach Association, Gilmer, Texas. At a, it was 14 or 15 years. I can't remember. It was 15. about 15 years. Tremendous success there. At, it was a 3A high school at the time. And uh, a ton of success there. He even has the stadium named after him now. And But all of us in this room right now, we can all relate. Growing up in Texas, when you play high school football, you could not wait to receive that Bible when it hit the newsstands, Dave Campbell's Texas Football, to see your name under your capsule for your high school. And that, I, 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 to me, this is one of the highest honors. You are on the cover – of Dave Campbell's Texas football, and let's let's blow it up, Joey McGuire. You, the both of you, right here. This is, I don't want to say career achievement, but when you were growing up in Gilmer, and even starting your coaching career, even let's go back to Big Sandy. Was this remotely ever? Did you think that you would ever be on the front of this uh, Texas high school football magazine? No, you don't know. I'd be lying if I told you. I was still mad they didn't put my name in there in 1983 just on the football team, right? So I finally finally got in there in 85. It was a very small mention, but I was just glad to get my name typed somewhere under the Gilmer Buckeyes team back in the day. So, no, I never would have visualized that. And, uh, you know, thank goodness for Randy McCown and Josh McCown and Luke McCown and Danny Long hired me in Jacksonville and, those kids won a bunch of ball games and got me hired back in my hometown. Or who knows? I, I was happy in Big Sandy. I, my yeah. kid and I were. I was head basketball coach. I was an offensive coordinator. I, you know, I taught about four classes, drove the bus. You know, I was having a blast, making nineteen thousand dollars a year, bringing home about eight hundred dollars a month. We were living large. Man, when you just even say that right there, and you think about the times, and obviously you talked about the money and the NIL deals and you start looking at the coaching staffs and what they're making. Is it is it humbling to you, Coach? I mean, you obviously we understand who you are. You're a very humble man, and you understand hard work pays off and the road that got you to this. But does this feel rewarding? I mean, it was a struggle. You just said it, $19,000, and you were just tickled to be there. You're just excited as you could possibly be. And now you're on a grand stage. You're the cover of Dave Campbell's Texas football. Your football team had an unbelievable season, and it's trending in the right direction. Everybody's talking about that triangle down there. I mean, everything seems to be headed in the right direction. But does does it really – do you pinch yourself at all about where you are right now? You know, I think it was, you know, the Lord knew what he was doing, putting me in high school 25 years. Uh, it you know, he probably knew if I got thrown in this scene at, at the – let me just say this. The, the Jeff Trailer you know now is by far the best version of me than the 30-year-old version. And, uh, I think the Lord knew what he was doing by making me wait. Uh, I just got out of a rent car from going to camps and getting back into my Tahoe, and I saw where my uh, assistant uh, had left 67 cents in the ashtray, and I said <laughs> – you better get that 67 cents. And he's like, coach, you don't need 67 cents anymore. I said, there'll never be a day in my life. I don't need 67 cents. We're taking that 67 cents. So uh, if I ever forget all that stuff, uh, shame on me, right? Very humble background with uh, parents that were educators, both of them 40 year educators, was yeah. living month to month with my two brothers. And I, I know the reason my dad had a farm is he had free labor and the three of us were the free labor. 
So, uh, no, <laughs> I am blessed beyond belief. Uh, but what I get the most thrill out of is obviously the ability to take care of my family is very important to me. But my assistant coaches, you know, I had a GA, you know, uh, Julian Griffin, who lived with me at SMU and worked for free. Like Carrie was still back in late Travis with JC, letting her graduate. And uh, I had an apartment in Highland Park and had an empty bedroom. So Julian came in there and he slept in my extra bedroom every night. And and now he's my running back coach. And I know his salary is uh, way, way more than free uh, right now. So I'm, I'm those kind of stories. My GA at Texas was Will Stein. Yeah. And he's now my offensive coordinator. You know, my GA at Texas was Justin Burt who's now my, our special team coordinator, associate head coach. One of my dear friends is Joe Price, coaching at North Shore. Now he coaches wide receivers for me. My own brother. I mean, I can go on and on, but truly, that's – when you cut me open uh, and you dig on Jeff Trailer, it's been my assistants and been my players through the years. I, I have just been extremely blessed, and I know that. And uh, I wake up in the morning doing my damnedest to, to serve them the very best I can as a head coach uh, and my players. I, I want them to know how much I really do care uh, about them. So, yes, yeah, very blessed. Hey, Ben, tell me something good. Tell me something good. And, and by the way, Coach, that was uh, Harge's son, DJ. Great voiceover work. He's taught him well. Um, he's got a future in anything. He's a good athlete, by the way. We'll have to put him on the Roadrunners map. Uh, Harz, what what year is he now? <laughs> uh oh, he's muted. He's an eighth grader. He's headed into his eighth grade. By the way, he is class president, and his lowest grade was a ninety-seven the entire year. There you go. And he kind of panics. It kind of panics when he gets in that ninety-five range. You go, oh, what are, what, what am I doing wrong? What, like, just go out there and do your thing, brother. I think you're fine. So, y'all, but y'all yes, coach, get, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. <laughs> trying to get y'all trying to get me a recruiting violation already. Okay. Yeah, we can't do it. You're not. You're nah, not. Y'all gonna make we it. We just mentioned it. Y'all gonna make it. I comment about it, and they're gonna instead they're gonna say that's the one kid I can't. Remember. No comment. I didn't tell you his name, coach. I didn't tell you his name. Tell me something good going on in your world as we we close out this uh, short episode. Uh, you mean personally, professionally? What are we talking here, Sean? It, it personally, could be a, personally, it could coach. personally, personally. I'm yeah. really excited. You know, we get done with camps uh, this Friday. Uh, you know, Jordan, my oldest son, coaches linebackers for the Saints. Uh, my middle child, Jake, uh, was on Today Show. Just got a promotion. He's uh, somewhere else in NBC right now, wow. in, in Thirty Rock. And uh, my baby girl just graduated from A and M, and all three. Uh, are coming in and uh, we're going to go to Mexico uh, for about eight days together. So I'm really excited to carry and the three kids, you know, we're empty nesters now. Uh, Jake's 20, about to turn 25, Jordan's 28 and Jason's 22. So I, I hope I can unplug a little bit. I almost hope my phone, I hope there's no cell service down there so I can at least not feel guilty if I'm not on my phone for about eight days. Unplug. Have you seen that Snoop Dogg commercial where he just throws it into the, love the cooler? <laughs> You just I'm, I'm pull a snoop. make sure I'm you do that, coach. You do that. <laughs> yeah, pull a snoop right there. There you go. That'll help you unplug, coach. That's really good, man. I love that. Every time that Snoop Dogg commercial, that's where we all need to be. Paradise and, and live like Jeff Trailer. That's 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 a good example. I'm, I'm just being honest here. Um, so September 17th, we'll have a reunion, so to speak, as uh, Coach Trailer has brings his Roadrunners to Austin. And I encourage everybody to watch the NFL draft. He has a couple of guys who were phenomenal, that being Frank Harris, your quarterback, and Sincere McCormick. Uh, if you had to guess, I mean, the NFL draft is severely unpredictable. Those guys are going to be on NFL rosters, I would assume. Well, Sincere already left us, so I mean, he's with the Raiders right now. Frank is still coming back, so oh, um, we'll we'll see what happens there. But yeah, we had two players drafted, and we've got six on teams from last year's team, and we we expect to have a few more on this year's team. But right now, Sean, you you've committed a tremendous culture pillar violation. That, you know, we 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 play Houston in eighty one days, right? 
and you're already jumping to September 17th. You got to be in the moment, Sean. 80, we're 81 days away, baby. You're talking about hey. 95. We're not 95 days away yet. We're 81 days. Oh, I'm so glad you said that, Coach, because I'm like, the coach's mind, mentality is one day at a time, one game. Want to know, time. baby? Want to know? Sean, Sean, seen, Sean has already got us somewhere else. <laughs> has he seen Dan Hogerson's team? They're top fifteen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and he's got a hell of a so, job. Yeah, we'll, September seventeenth will be a special day in all seriousness, just because it's the flagship place in the country, right? right? And the advantages y'all have, and it's just such an incredible place, and. You know, we, we hope to be that one day. You know, we, we don't have that NIL money. We don't have those facilities. We're very proud of what we have. We're very proud of our NIL deals. We're very proud of the Alamo Dome. Uh, but we understand that there'll be no one in the country picking us that day. And it'll be a tremendous honor to come back and play in a place that, you know, it didn't end great for me there, but it met so many special people and uh, such a unique university that uh, there's no doubt it'll be a special moment when we enter back in there. That's going to be fun. And, hey, you connected with Harge and I. That was a great part of it, you know. No doubt. I made two <laughs> friends for sure. Two friends you for always sure. Gonna, and you're going to definitely keep those two friends, Coach. I appreciate that. I just hope Bijan is nice to me too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no Coach Trevor. I hope a lot of people feel that way. Yeah. Oh, my God, yes. So, we'll we'll look for you. Hey, the Texas High School Coaches Convention, and what, what are the dates? I forget. That's in July, right? Later in yeah, July. Yeah, it's around the 19th, 20th, somewhere in there. I know it's always on my anniversary, which lets you oh. know how ignorant I was back in 1991 <laughs> to get married uh, during that time. But, uh, yeah, it's 19th, 20th, well, somewhere Coach, you were still in high school, so you was good. You was good. <laughs> it's in San Antonio. Yeah, he was high school having- coaching. Uh, it's actually in San Antonio, so we're having a big uh, deal at Pinkerton's on that Sunday night. Y'all are welcome to come at 7 o'clock. We'll have some sweet tea and some barbecue together and, and talk some balls. So we had about That's 700 great. coaches there last year show up and uh, all Texas high school coaches, so we're expecting all those guys to come back. And That's something I'm very proud of, and uh, I'll always be a Texas high school football coach. Yeah. You know, our bowl game, I was very intentional with that THSCA cap on my head because uh, – I know uh, the better that Joey and I can do, the better opportunity it's going to give our buddies. And there's 1,400 high schools that represented in that Dave Campbell magazine. And all 1,400 of them can do exactly what, what I've done. They just got to get the opportunity. And the better I do, the better opportunity it gives them. You've been an inspiration to young coaches, and especially those who are deeply rooted to the Texas High School Coach Association. We'll, we'll look for you down there. We got to hang out for sure. Hey, for Appreciate Harbaugh Hart, so absolutely. Much. Appreciate you both for Hardball Hards and the Coach Trailer. We are out. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up.